give me that. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Bullshit. I feel like at some point when I'm really feeling it, it'll just energize. I'm really feeling the intro, it. my intro will just energize into a full-on cyber Cyberman from from Dragon Ball Z. We're gonna do mad, but not do them like we did Robert. Shave, <coughs> shave with the grain, Peter. <coughs> Cyberman takes a lot out of me. Instead of messaging the guy, why don't I just walk over and grab some coffee? I'm feeling really sluggish today anyway. Amanda! Well, that's how you do it. <laughs> Amanda sticks her head out of her room. Father? What? Father? <laughs> Father, to your hands I commend my spirit. Wanna go to the coffee spoon? By the way, that's your second Amanda cover. He's chop suit. He's chop suit. You wanted to! <laughs> You want to? I love that <laughs> only a few people so far have heard the, the, the sweet, my sweet batch cover. Because you haven't drawn the picture yet! I'm doing it. I actually am doing it. But I want to save the final for you. Oh, so you get called cool once, and now you're the cool dad who hangs out at the coffee shops and listens to Neo Jazz and stuff. Amanda. Are you gonna bring your laptop and your leather-bound journal so you can work on your poetry anthology? Look, honey, do you want me to buy you coffee or not? Let me grab my laptop and my leather-bound journal. <laughs> I should oh. be saying join me. Oh, it's Pablo. <laughs> hey, hey. Amanda. Wanna, wanna see? It's you. I am not that man. Or I'm have green hair. Man. You should be that tan. <laughs> you should be that tan. Amanda and I make the short walk over to the coffee spoon. The place is quiet today. Just a few people hanging out and reading books in the cozy little nooks. I walk up to the counter and see a familiar pierced face. I don't remember your voice. Hey! You were the dude I yelled at at a bunch the other night. Yeah, you went Zarbon. <laughs> yeah, sure. Amanda casts a sideways glance at me. He tried to sell me shirts. And who might you be, miss? This is my daughter, Amanda. The person I am a father to and am very protective of. An honor to make your acquaintance. My name is Pablo. Did I mention that I make witch house music? I wouldn't call witch house music... I... I wouldn't call witch house music, but okay. That makes sense. <laughs> yes, it did. You wouldn't call Witch House music, oh, would you? Oh, I didn't see that. A piercing blow to my ego, though not one that will dissuade my need to impress you. My innate dad's senses tingle. I am overwhelmed with a fatherly protective energy. I must do something to protect my child. I must defend Witch House. Do the opposite of protecting Reappropriate my... lines from Taken. Please. Oh, absolutely. I need this. Go ahead. Listen here, Pablo. I have a very particular set of skills, too. Um, I can type pretty fast for people my age. If you so much as harm a hair on my daughter's head, I'll be coming for you at a comfortable 80 words per minute if you after I practice a little. I like that, like, <laughs> you, what you've done is you've just given Gorkrup's, like, grog to a Liam Neeson impression. <laughs> yeah. Like, you, like the, you're missing the normal Gorkrup essence. It just sounds like Liam Neeson with a... Very extra amount of grog. Like, he just ripped his throat apart. Dad! Because Gorkrup's trying to sound intimidating. Gorkrup. Hmm. Mac comes out from washing dishes in the back room to meet Amanda and I. He and I high-five, as fellow cool people do. See, I met my newest employee. At your service. Although I'm only here until Vacant Vale starts their world tour. When's that? Well, we have to put out a record first. Alright, Pablo. Now what, do, now what do we do with customers again? Suck their cocks. Right, yes. Suck their cocks. Suck their cocks. <laughs> Pablo clears his throat. Th 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 nice. Hello, good folk of Maple Bay. Can I interest you in a tasty caffeinated beverage? A smashing pumpkin spice latte, please. A classic. And you? Americano football. 
Father John. Decaf for cutie. That's pretty clever. Father John Misko. Hmm. You know, just because I know the band, I'm gonna go with decaf Good. for cutie. A decaf for cutie, please. Don't want too much caffeine. Decaf. Sounds like you're settling. Oh shit, I didn't get the eggplants. I have a very early bedtime that I just can't miss. Oh, uh, the sound of settling is a death cab for Cutie Song, which is the band that this was a pun off of. So when I said it sounded like you were settling, I... I'm gonna stop talking now. Coming right up. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> what? We fucked up, apparently. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm glad Jess is here live to really tell us when we've done something It's because she knows the spoilers that we don't. Well, it's alright. We're pa here to fail. Pablo, yeah. <laughs> Pablo gets to work making our drinks while Matt observes him. It's okay, we don't even like Matt anyway. I got the hang of it. As goofy as... For as goofy as... It's on. It's on. Kid works hard. You actually get you actually get that reference more now. <laughs> you can hey, play look at that! I played five times. I played three matches, and now I get it. We should we should we should play a little bit together. Okay, you um, just you, <laughs> just you. <laughs> just, <laughs> hey man, that concert was a lot of fun. We should hang out again. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first what really works with Hell That Work. Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm actually going to be tr done training Pablo in a couple hours. I was going to go record shopping. Want to come along? Go record shopping. Go... <laughs> it's too late. It's too late, guys. It's too late at night. Uh, guys, it's, it's almost one o'clock. <laughs> shit. I can't, I can't speak things at this time. Absolutely. Want to go record shopping? <laughs> go record shopping. <laughs> Pablo brings us our drinks and Amanda buries herself in her laptop. This is why you record things late at night. <laughs> I spend my time sipping my drink and cracking jokes with Matt. Yeah, we record things at night because we get fucking silly. Last time we hung out, he told me that he had trouble hanging out with other people. But for some reason, he and I can talk and joke like old buds. It's weird. I feel really comfortable around him. Once Matt feels comfortable leaving Pablo in his own, on his own, I say goodbye to Amanda and we start walking to the record store. Have you ever been here before? <laughs> no, I mean, we have a record player sitting in the living room, but all I have are two copies of Frampton Cometh Alive. Oh, this should be fun then. We're gonna find you some good stuff. I'm really starting to feel it in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it might be Robert, though. I like, I like the fucking, I like the live studio audience reactions. Uh, the walls of the store are packed with posters, artwork, stickers, and records. A few people oh mill around, flipping through milk crates of albums. Let Some indie go. band is playing through the speakers. It's a nice vibe. So... Why do people still buy records? <laughs> Isn't it kind of outdated at this Let point? It die. <laughs> a lot of people will try to tell you that vinyl sounds warmer or more true to the artist's intent. But really, I think it's just nice to collect records. <laughs> it's cool that in this day and age we have just about every song ever created available instantaneously on our phones, but there's something about holding an album and getting to see the artwork in your hands that I'll always love. That's why I try to get as many of the records that I love in physical form as possible. Remember when we were kids and would have to wait around by the radio with a cassette tape so that we could record our favorite songs? Well, that one actually worked. <laughs> so you could record your favorite songs? Yeah, there like you go. record my favorite songs. <laughs> it, made each, it made each listen really special, and, and mixtapes were even cooler because of how much work they took. Now you must. Now you just make a playlist. I think the last time someone gave me a real mixtape was in high school. I look around the multi-level record store and spot some genres. Future Wave, Jungle, Anarcho-Punk, Nunsploitation, 
I have no idea where to start. Man, this is a little overwhelming. Here, let me help you find something you might like. If you were a milkshake, what flavor would you be? That's a loaded question. <laughs> That's a really loaded question. Purple. <laughs> <laughs> we fail at any of these is just because we it's want me. to pick Gorkrup answers, and purple is such a Gorkrup answer. Purple. <laughs> purple. I want blue. I don't know. What do you want to actually pick? I'm I'm a cookies and cream kind of man, but I else but he's wearing a purple shirt. Even yeah, purple's not a fucking flavor. <laughs> and well, if Jess is gonna mock me about it, then I guess we have to pick purple. <laughs> You can only buy one type of. He didn't even flinch. <laughs> he just expects it. If you could only buy one type of candle scent for the rest of your life, what would it be? Purple. <laughs> Daffodil Mountain Spring, Camouflage Summer Breeze, Spring Creek Fireball, or Power Violence Cherry Blossom. I like Power Violence Cherry Blossom. Let's go. What's your favorite ambient sound? Screaming. Have Richard waking the up sound in the morning. Of, uh, or maybe just the sound of rain. <laughs> this the sound of so, howls of the bone chorus, Star Trek bridge ambiance, the bowling alley, or rain. Rain. Ah! If we're going real talk, please stop. It's one in the morning. No, it's not. If we're going by real talk, would say I'd say rain. But if we're going me talk, I'd say the Star Trek bridge ambience. Bones, one bones where are you? <laughs> What's your dream vacation spot? Inside an active volcano. <laughs> Living off the fat of the land in Ibiza. Starting a new life in the Baltics. My backyard. My backyard. We're doing great. What's your deepest... We're, no, we're a loser. What's your deepest, darkest fear? I worry that people are nice to me only because they want something from me. I fear that I don't deserve happiness. I'll never what? get it. What if nobody exists but me and I fabricated It's the this question years. from the opening of Kingdom Hearts 1. Saying you too when the waiter tells you to enjoy your food. That's a Brian Regan reference. Come on, let's go. I actually do that all the time. Matt, enjoy your food. <laughs> Matt thinks for a moment. Huh. Oh. I know just the thing. The Wiggles. <laughs> the Wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> Sesame Street's greatest hits. <laughs> that Rubber Ducky song gets me every time. Matt runs to the other end of the store and returns holding a record behind his back. I hate you. He shows it to me. This is Trouble Will Find Me by The National. The National have honed their sad guy sound on album after album, and by this point, they're old pros about feeling blue. The music is so amazing that it'll actually cheer you up. Whoa, dude. Thanks for the recommendation. <laughs> You're gonna have a great time with it, promise. Matt and I bring our records to the cash register. A young girl with a septum ring and a buzz cut stands behind the counter with one earbud in. Usual stuff today, Matt. Get some light pickups. Matt places three albums on the counter. Swear I'm Good at This by Diet Sig, Forever by Mystery Skulls, and Greatest Hits by Remo Drive. Tight. Yo, we those tight boys. No big Ducci, Stanley, mm, mm, Tucci. <laughs> the cashier rings Matt up and hands back his albums in a bag. She stares at me suspiciously. Who's the nerd? That nerd is my buddy Gorkrup. Gorkrup. His beacon of human charm is Molly. I got kicked out of art school for destroying my paintings at the end of every critique. Yeah, something you fucking tell people? <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Anyway, Matt, is the open mic night still on? Are we gonna hear Gorkrup sing? You know it. Our third wave's gonna do a special acoustic performance. Am I gonna be there? I might see if I can get a few of the girls together. I'm a girl. <laughs> I used to be a girl. <laughs> There's an open mic night going on. Yeah, dude. We do it every month at the coffee spoon. So I mean, talent always comes through. Got a flyer for it right here. Why did you? <laughs> I don't know. Amanda. 
Yo, and Amanda should go. Are we gonna hear Amanda sing? Is she gonna be one of the girls? Baya. Baya. The Sphinx was so cute. I had to shave <laughs> Matt blushes. I mean, you're not doing anything. Will Vacant Vale be playing? <laughs> if only. I finished paying for my record and we set out to head out of the store. I like with how cool he is, like how high his fucking pants are. You <laughs> what a nerd! <laughs> Man, what a trip down memory lane. I haven't been to a record shop like that since <laughs> Vance had shag carpeting. <laughs> Come on, I gotta switch it up a little. Now that you mention it, isn't it strange to think of all those weird little musical memories? How do you mean? Well, I think music is a very time and place sort of thing. The song is important to me not only in that I think it sounds good, but where I was and what I was doing when I listened to it. There's music that reminds me of exes, of struggling through school, of being so poor that I didn't know where my next meal was coming from. All that stuff and listening to those songs reminds me of those moments of my life. Yeah, now that I think about it, even the pop concert Amanda made me take her to was special to me. I mean, I'm not really a fan of the band, but... Hearing their songs on the radio reminds me of how young and excited Amanda was. And then even... And then that even reminds me of a younger me. Going to see my favorite bands in concert with all my friends. Still wearing the same Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> I've worn it since I was 12. <laughs> we would always go to my friend Cynthia Chapman's house beforehand and smoke pot in her basement like we were so slick. Her parents definitely knew what we were doing. Wait. When was the last time you smoked pot? Matt stops and thinks for a moment. It's been decades. Dude. Me too. Last time I smoked it was high noon. Die. <laughs> get it? Hi. Where do you even get pot now? Is that even what the kids call it these days? I don't know. But I bet I could find out. You want to get high and listen to our new records? Say no to drugs. <laughs> Say no to drugs. Should we smoke drugs? You fucking high gork from Elliot. Hell yeah. Matt pulls out his phone and starts texting. After a few minutes, he looks up and smiles at me. Oh, Molly's got a hookup. There's to meet an alley near the coffee shop. You get really fucking paranoid. <laughs> okay. If it turns out it's the fed. <laughs> Those eyes, Corcoran's eyes, getting blood shot from the. Okay, it will turn out it's the fed. You make a break for it, and I'll take the heat. Just promise me that you'll raise Amanda like she was your own. You realize that weed has been legalized in this state, right? I definitely knew that. But we live in dangerous times. Who knows what lurks in the seedy underbelly of Maple Bay? We could find ourselves on the wrong end of a deal gone bad. Just look out for Amanda. I swear. Oh, here's our guy. Oh, God. That was bigger than I thought it was going to be. I apologize. Coming around the corner of one of those nasty grease dumpsters, shrouded in darkness, is a lean figure dressed in all black. Um, excuse me, Mr. Drugman. Mr. Drugman. Give me some weed. Oh, hi, Lucian. <laughs> God damn it. Surprised the person almost jumps out of their skin. It's Lucian, Damien's son. Who sent you? You're cool, man. We're cool. Says who? For all I know, you could be with the feds. Actually, weed is leak. Prove you're cool. What? I need to know if you're, that you're down or I bolt. Show him you're not wearing a wire. Impress him with your extensive knowledge of current drug lingo. Please. It's like, Sight mutually assured destruction. I feel like Gorkrump would use his drug lingo, but but that'll make us look like a narc. Because sure. they could be like, "Huh? How about anybody want to do that sticky icky?" Sight mutually assured destruction. I don't even know what that means. That's that's probably why it's cool. Because we don't know what it means. Okay. <laughs> there you oh. go. Look at his, look at his oh. face. Oh. <laughs> Look, man, we're trying to buy drugs from you, and we know you sell drugs. You have dirt on us, we have dirt on you. We're in this together now. Look, it's fine, I get it. Buzzcut Molly said you were coming. Right. 
Now the formalities are out of the way, let's make a deal. Let's become deal or no deal. <laughs> a bunch of women with suitcases come out. <laughs> Go pick which case you want. So I have to ask you, deal or no deal? Dude, that was the hypest day of my middle school life, man. Oh yeah, you were. Dude, the that's my hypest shit. I'm driving two hundred and fifty dollars, and that was enough for young me. <laughs> Uh, all right. How much do you want? One. One what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it means weed, Lucian. Yeah, but how much? One? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look, here. Take this and give me ten dollars. Just don't tell my dad. So I'll forget this ever happened. I'll tell your dad if you don't. <laughs> Lucian hands me a baggie of something and disappears down the alleyway. I open it and take a deep whiff. Smells like genuine drugs. Yes, sir. That went smoothly. Yeah, we should get off of public property before we smoke this. Great idea. Let's head back to my place. Yeah. Yeah. We get to see more of Matt's place. Mac and I walk back to our cul-de-sac and stop at a gas station on the way to buy rolling papers and soda. I feel like I'm 16 again. Condensita is having a sleepover tonight. That gives us all the time we need to do drugs. Awesome. Let's do some drugs. Matt pulls one of the records God out damn. of his bag and puts it on for us. I plop down on a comfy leather couch and look around his place. There are a bunch of band posters and his record collection takes up an entire wall. Whoa. What a collection. I've been collecting my whole life. Nice to finally get them all in one place. After being on the road for so much of my life, I had to ask my parents to hold on to them for me. Matt sits down next to me and we lay the marijuana drugs out on the coffee table. The coffee? Is that a coffee you drink? Uh, do you want to do the honors? Please, it's your house. If you say so. Matt pulls out some rolling papers and sprinkles some of the beatnik tobacco onto a piece. He starts rolling it back and forth, and the paper Blackie breaks tobacco. almost immediately, spilling drugs all over the couch. Never was too good at this. Matt tries again and is able to successfully roll a nice-looking weed cigarette. He hands me a lighter and the blunt, <laughs> and I think, and I take it. Well, let's open up the nug. Smoke some of that gateway drug. <laughs> Rip that golf fairway. <laughs> uh, I kind of like open up the nug. <laughs> same. Uh, oh shit! He didn't like the nug. <laughs> Is that a word? Yes. I light the joint and inhale deeply. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I remembered. It's been a while though. Maybe pot drugs have just gotten more potent since the last time I smoked. I pass the joint to Matt and cough a little bit. <coughs> Should it sting this much or am I just a baby? Matt takes a hit and his eyes go wide. That's not weed. Oh god. Oh no. Do we develop a taste for meth? Oh no. It's... Matt takes another hit it's and It's oregano. It's oregano. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh bitch, Lucy and Chick does. Tell us that. Fucker. <laughs> I sniffed the air. Yeah, that would definitely explain why it smells like a pizza place in here. That little punk ripped us off. Oh, well. We can still relax and enjoy the music sober. You know what? Don't wink at me like that. You're right. <laughs> we sit and listen through the Diet Sig album that Matt bought, which is catchy as hell. I look around the room again and see photos of Carmencita growing up. I spot a young woman with a huge smile in one of the pictures with the two. Who's that? Way to really go deep, Corcoran. Damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's Rosa. She was Carmencita's mother. She died when Carmencito was young. I'm sorry to hear that. Amanda lost Alex at a young age, too. I can understand how hard that must have been. I look around again, spotting a framed gig poster hanging on the wall. On it, there's an illustration of Matt and Rosa surrounded by flowers. The curse of lettering reads, Stillness the Dancing. 
Looks like they played the sound garden over a decade ago. Now you have to walk out of the house and then walk back in and say, I promise not to bring up your dead spouse. Just like Joseph. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you two in a band together? Yeah. That was the reason I was touring so much when I was younger. We traveled the whole country in this rinky-dink little van. Did somebody ring the dink stick? <laughs> It was hard to start, but once we started gaining notoriety and seeing how much our songs meant to kids, it was just incredible. Wow. That seems like a life some people only dream of. It was. And it was difficult at the same time. I couldn't have done it without someone by my side. Rosa and I knew that we couldn't do it forever. Long hours on the road, missing your family, sleeping in the van, all that stuff. So once she became pregnant with Carmencita, we put down roots in our favorite town to play in right here. Since she was a kid, Rosa always had a dream to own a quiet little coffee shop. She, uh, she died before it opened. Shit. I'm... Are you, like, actually crying? It's getting me. Oh, dude. And I'm reading the lines. Damn. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> the worst audience ever. <laughs> Just you suck! <laughs> you fucked up! I'm so sorry. Give her a bite just to a sitcom I write for, like, the pilot. <laughs> Dopey. I'm not really sure what to say. I, I couldn't possibly count the number of times I told people the same thing after Alex died. Matt gets up to flip the record. Next to the turntable, I notice a dusty piano. Do you play? Uh, I'm out of breath. I know how to play chopstick. Oh, wait, hold on. I used to jam on the keys back in the day. Oh, yeah? I fronted the hottest seven-piece ska band that Eagle Rock Bay High School had to offer. No way. You had a ska face? Face? Ska never dies. That's right. Except for Scommunist Manifesto, oh. who broke up after the senior talent show to pursue solo careers. Well, dude, that's so rad. Matt pulls out the piano bench. Was that signs of tired? Ah, gay. Yeah. Okay. Ah, give me some of that two tone love. Oh man, let's see if I still got it. I sit down at the piano. Stick to your sky. Rose. Anyway, here's Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to your ska roots. Really show them off. Hey, I think I'm doing it. I'm playing ska. Wait, that was just smoke on the water. <laughs> Man, I've forgotten how to play. Deep purple is always appreciated, nonetheless. All right, buddy. Can you top that? I. Uh. I shouldn't. Ah, oh, come on! No, I'm... It's been a long time. Never too late to get back into it. Yeah, really force him in. Really make him feel... Bad! Cornered. You just can't do a butchered version of Deep <laughs> yeah, Purple like throw ups. <laughs> on the water. How much worse can it be? Matt stares at the piano for a second. Alright. I'm a... Okay. Matt closes his eyes and runs his finger over the keys. He breathes in deep and starts playing a melody. First I was afraid. I was petrified. <laughs> <laughs> Kept missing all those. <laughs> Without you by my side. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I could keep going, but I won't. If I didn't know that he hadn't played piano in a long time, I would never have guessed it. Matt plays a soft, sweet tune filled with emotion. I've never heard this before. Is this one of his original works? This uh, is... I will survive. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Matt finishes the song and finally opens his eyes. How was that? That was amazing. Oh, it's nothing. Come on, man, that was killer. Are you going to pull that out for the open mic night? Oh, no. I never play at those. Well, why not? 
You're really good. It's just, I just don't do it anymore. I just don't like being up there and alone and having so many people stare at me. It doesn't feel fun anymore. I can sense that Matt's getting uncomfortable with the thought of it. <laughs> just I won't push him in the fuck. Baby, like... <laughs> All right, man. But I hope you know how beautiful your music is. Th thanks. Matt and I sit and listen to more records until it gets late. I decide yeah, that I need to go to bed. Definitely steered away from Matt the walks other. me to my door. Let's never tell anyone about the oregano, okay? Neil, wait. Can I tell my doctor? I don't know anything about the health effects of smoking oregano, and <laughs> I think we'll be fine. He dies the next day. <laughs> night, <laughs> night, dude. I smile. Night. You know, apparently you can die in this game. Good. Somehow. <laughs> I see good. I walk inside and the house is dark, save for the sliver of light coming from beneath Amanda's door. Yeah. I knock lightly on the door and enter Amanda's room. She's sitting at her desk with her camera editing photos. Hey, Amanda. Amanda swivels around in her chair to face me and slumps down. That smells like pizza parlor in here. What? Nothing! So, what's up? Dad! I'm hungry! <laughs> <laughs> Always pitch perfect on the day. It's never, never missing. Wait, no! Hi, hungry! No! I'm dead! <laughs> Amanda collapses oh! on the floor. I promised myself I'd never let it come to this! Sorry, kiddo. You set it up. I spike it down. You're a monster. Want some spaghetti? Yes, please. You were supposed to bring balance to my life, not destroy it. <laughs> Give up, Amanda. I have the high ground. <laughs> I have the high ground. I have the high ground. You Don't try it. You meet my power. <laughs> Amanda and I boil pasta and heat up sauce in a pan. Well, I boil pasta and heat up sauce while Amanda watches. Despite my best efforts, I'm not able to set it on fire. How was how was record collecting? It was great. Did you know that Matt used to play in a band? No way! Was he good? I don't know if the band was good, but he played some piano for me tonight, and it was amazing. He played piano for you? Dude. Yeah, I brought it up that he's a play at the open mic night that's happening in his coffee shop, but he's got kind of weird about it. That's all fire for that. We should go. It's not too late to start a father daughter punk oh, band God, please, no. and play a couple tunes there. God, no, not the fucking. <laughs> not the ballad of the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna break out my glockenspiel. I think I only know hot cross buns, but we can work off the chord progression. Amanda and I have a nice dinner before she goes back to her room to do photography stuff. I end up watching True Life. I'm a house hunter. Mm. I'm a Sonic fan. <laughs> They're staging an intervention for the house hunter, who is crying uncontrollably over the color of the walls. They know that they can paint the walls of their house any color they want, right? Matt's song is stuck in my head all night. I, I will survive. <laughs> it's just when he said he ran his fingers on the keys, and I just immediately pictured the opening. B! Fuck you, Matt! I told you you fucked up. No, fuck you. <laughs> I am not a master of dad, okay? You should have picked Smoke That Gateway Dream. I should have. But I didn't. But I really like. What was it? Chug That Nug? Yeah, it's a. Smoke, uh, they smoke that nug. We should make that a thing. All right, next time we go on for Joseph, I'm a bee man. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> you like jazz? Yeah. <laughs>